Okay. Now tell me how can I communicate with a snowflake? Tell me how can I communicate with a snowflake? Anyone? Tell me how can I come by to using this? a language SQL, sir. So, by using SQL, okay, SQL. So, SQL is having what are the commands we're having in SQL? We're having DDL, DML, TCL, DRL, RTQL, and DCL. Okay, these are the tool. Could I close this thing? I'll go for filtering. Ones. Okay, what is the deal? It's a data definition language. Okay, so what are the commands we're having? We're having what? Uh, what are the commands in, in Snowflake for SQL statements? Tell me anyone. Create, alter, drop. So create. Okay, one second. Create, alter, and drop. What are DML commands we're having? DML data manipulation language. But what are the commands we're having? You're having insert, okay, update, and delete. Okay, then what are the commands? Truncate and merge. So truncate and match. Okay, in Snowflake, these are truncate and match. Okay, important. Okay, truncate. They'll ask you Okay, truncate is DML DMLs in Snowflake, say DML. Okay, this is important one. Okay, we'll see merge. Okay. Now before that, what details are what? Details are tell me details are auto committable. Auto committable. Okay, what about DMLs are called as what DMLs are called as transactions? So one second, DMLs are what? Are transactions. These transactions need to be controlled by using what? By using which concept? By using TCL transaction control language. Okay, so language. Okay, what are the commands we're having TCL? What are the commands we're having? Tell me one. What are the commands we're having? Commit and rollback. So commit and rollback. Okay, these are important. Remember, okay. So these are called as basic building blocks of SQ. Okay. So without this, we can't able to cover the okay. No, I want to see the data. How can I see the data by using, by using what concept? By using, by using what concept? Data select. Data retrieval. A retrieval or query. That is our query language. That is select still. Got the pointer like this. Way. Okay. What is TCL? This nothing but say data control language. Okay. What are the commands we're having? So grant and control language. Okay. We'll see the same thing. We'll go for okay. So go back here. I'll show one thing so that we can able to work. So I've given task, nobody did anything. Okay, so you should send to me so that I can able to validate. Okay. So we'll, say, we'll see the simple example so that you can able to get okay all the concepts you get covered. Okay. Now I'm making a screenshot. So you should do the task, task then only you can able to okay, like we can able to expert in this. Case. Yes. Okay, now okay. Now I want to populate this data in this table. Now tell me what I need to create. We should create what one, one table. Tell me how can I create table? By using which concept? By using what? The that is create statement. Okay. So create syntax for create table creation. What? Tell me what is the syntax for table creation? Ah, uh, tell me table creation. Mm, create table table name. Okay. So create. So create. Okay. Table, 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 name. table name. Okay, so table name, bracket open, bracket close. You can put open column one, open parenthesis, column one. So comma separate value, column one, column two, data type of okay. this. Okay. So now tell me what are the data types you are having in Snowflake data types? Main data types are having. Tell me data types. Okay. So for number, we'll go for number, number data type. Okay, where care. So where care, what are things you can able to put? Where care, then tell me where care. care. Where care to care then? Hmm. Tell me what are the things. Eight. No, no. But for where care also there's synonyms. Are then what are the things where care to care and yesterday was seen. Only where care and care. We have seen yesterday similarity. What are the things we're having? Anybody? That's only these two things, huh? Date and date. No, no, that's fine. Okay, my ask my question is that what for where care there are synonyms are there? No, where care to care and one more thing. Okay, we're having what? Okay, we're having string and a text. Okay, we can put like string or text for this data where. Okay. Now in a similar version, we're having date. Okay. So these are things number, where care, date. Okay. So see what happened now for this purpose. Now tell me what name can I give for this use case? 
what name can I give for this use case? So you can go for other number, name, address, mobile number, email. Now tell me what table name can I give? Name of the table. Can I give employer? What the name I can give for this use case? Other details table. Other details. Okay, so other details. So create table other details. So it's a table which mention underscore t bracket open bracket close. Okay. So semicolon. Next one is the what's the column name? Column name is what? Other number. Okay. So other. So spelling mistake should be proper. Okay, sir. Other number. Okay. Now tell me what is the data for this one? Other number. So what is a number? Data type in a similar fashion. Other number. Next one is that what name? Name is what? Name is what data type? Name and address. Hmm. Address. Name Where is what data type? Where can. Where can. Okay. okay. Address what? Address is also where can. So always follow coding standards. Okay. Where can. Next one is that what? Mobile number is what data type? Mobile number is what? Mobile number is what? Number data type. Mobile number. number is number. Okay. Mobile underscore number it's a number data so in a similar fashion what is email email is what data type email is what data type okay. okay we can put where okay so you can put where care you can put text you can put anything this text or string okay okay this is what before that okay i'm putting so bracket open quantity okay now tell me this is what this is the table name these are what tell me these are what other number, name, address, is what concept? Columns. Column names. Okay. What is number, text, string? This is what? Data types. Data types. What is 20? Length. Data length or size. data size. Data size. Okay. Up to 20 cards can come. Okay. Now tell me if I don't mention what is the default size for number data. Default size. Default size. Sometimes they'll ask you default size for number. You tell me anyone. 38, 0. 38, 0. Okay. What about where? Zero. Care? How much it is? Say 65. No, not so It's a 16 MB. Okay, 16 MB. Okay, it will be 16 into 1024. So 1024 is nothing but what is it? Okay, kilobytes. Again, this are divided into 1024 bytes. Okay, see, this is nothing but what? 16 MB. Okay, if you don't mention it, it will take. Okay, if you don't mention it, it will take what? Big 16 MB. Now, what happened? Now, tell me if I write here that this table will get created. Tell me if I write here. If I write here table get data, tell me. Anyone? No. If I, no. Okay. What should be then? What should be done? We should we should have what? We should have one snowflake account. Yes, no. Now tell me for snowflake account, do you want to install any software or any hardware? Yes, no. No, sir. No, because say what? Say SaaS model. No need to install anything. It will be like we should we should access over net. That's it. Okay. Now what happened? How many ways we can able to log into Snowflake? How many ways we can able to log into Snowflake? Hmm. Tell me what are the ways Three you can ways. able to log in. Three ways. What are the ways? Snow site. Snow site. Okay. Snow SQL. Snow SQL. Classic okay. Then. Okay. Classic console. And this. So, this is, yeah. so we'll see this thing later. Okay. So classic console. But in free trial, we're having only free trial. Okay. This, this is the one free trial. So this is the disabled one. Okay. So this one is disabled in free trial. But in production environment, we are having this spare ones. We are having this. Okay. Now see snow set classic console. And what happens is snowflake account, classic console. And one more important question is that they will ask what is the version you are using? Okay, version you are using. Okay. Anybody knows how to find the version of any snowflake? Anybody knows how to find the version? Hmm, tell me. Yes, no. Anybody knows? Sir? Yes, no. Anybody knows yeah. that option? Okay. So see what happened. How can I find now? We should use select the current version. Okay. By using this query, we can be able to figure out what is the current version of this snowflake. So version is what? It will be keep on increasing. See, 7.2. Okay. 7.28.0. Like, like one week now, every, every one week or two weeks now, this will get keep on increment. So version can be found by using select the current version. It is important. Okay, important. Okay, so version. Now, what happens? Snowflake account is there. One second. Okay, so Snowflake account is there. Then what happened? Why we are going for this? Is what? What is what is this way? Snow set or classic concept? This is what way? Okay. What is this UI name? 
anyone what they doing snow set it's a snow set snow set next one what should have we should have what we should have one database tell me we should work for in development environment or production environment where we will go for we'll go for development database development schema now tell me these things will be created by whom development database and development schema we should go for what which one will create tell me Ad, admin admin which department admin, which admin not admin department snowflake 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 okay so because now tell me our role is what what is our role our role is admin now what is the role create By default, when you create a what happen? How many database will be there? By default, what? How many schemas will be there? Let's see what happen. Two schemas. Two schemas. Okay. Information schema, public schema. Information schema is public. nothing but what it will have the metadata information of all the objects we are creating. Okay, one more time. Information schema will hold. Okay, all the metadata, metadata, metadata information of of all the database. Objects for the pointer like this. Okay. Now this is the public schema we can enable. But what happens generally? We should we should not create. We should create our own schema. Create schema. Schema name. Okay. So August eighteen. They have one for this. Okay. See what happens. Schema has been created. See. So one second. Okay. It will refresh. So August you will see. Okay. So we are in this database and the schema. Suppose we go here. So there we got a scheme. Okay, by using query, if I want to, how can I find my current database, current schema? We'll go for select. Okay, current database. Okay, remember why I'm saying daily now? This because it should be comfortable with this UI. Because once you go to the live project, now we should work on this UI. That's why I'm saying it's common. Okay, so current database, current schema. Okay, for us. So like this. Okay, database and schema. Okay, got the point. Up. Now tell me in this database, I want to see list of tables. Tell me how can I see list of tables? Now tell me in this database, I want to see a list of tables. How can I see? Show tables. Show tables. Okay. So without show tables, is there any option? Ah, I want to see list of tables. Is there another option? You tell me. I want to see list of tables without using show tables. Anybody? Select star from information schema. So we'll go for select star from information schema. Okay. So information this schema dot. Tables. Okay, so tables. Okay, so there we can able to figure out. That. So right now, what see how many records are there? We are having thirty one. Okay, thirty one records. We we'll see this one. Okay, now we are trying to create our own table. Take the same thing. Try to execute. So see, try to execute. So now what happened? So see what happened. So table has been created. Now when execute, now what happened? Get what record? We get one more record. That is thirty two records. Okay. So that your records come okay. Or else we can go for show tables. Okay, show tables, we can able to get the information. Now tell me, I want to see list of columns in the particular table. List of columns. How can I see list of columns? Anybody? List of columns. How can I see? Describe, describe table. table. Okay, describe table. Table name. Okay, so table name. Okay, is there only this way? Is there another option? Just now seeing. Is there any other option? Is there an option? Anyone? Select start from table name. Okay, not done. So see, we see to use. Okay. Okay. Instead of tables, should put columns. Okay. There we can able to get our tables, table columns. Okay. Search for the same thing. Now see this column. Okay. By like what I said, information schema is nothing but what. What are the like metadata? It will store the metadata information of all the tables, all the objects, all the columns in this store here. Okay. So by using to describe table, table name. I'll go for information schema dot columns. Got the point? Um. Now tell me right now any records will be there uh, in Spotter session. Okay, tell me. Now in this state, now tell me I want to see list of uh, list of records in this particular table. How can I how can I query this data? How can I query the data? Now I want to see list of uh, I want to see what okay, any data is there in this particular table. Using what? Using DRL statement. That is 
select it start from table m tell me there won't be any records right now there won't be any records okay. now this is what this is current session understand this is important okay so I'll go in for the same thing okay i'm opening new session okay this is new session okay now what we are in which database we are in august odb dev scheme okay so go back here okay august odb august 18 dev db dev scheme okay now question is that what when i exit the same thing does it really available in this particular session or not this is important tell me it will be available or not tell me tell me no it will be there it will not be there so this is okay we have created in the current mm -hmm. session object in the new session will be there or not will there or not anyone no sir no why yes it will be there it will be the transition control no it will what now tell me this is what create as a ddl statement or dml statement ddl ddl ddl, DDL sir not what what say auto committable okay see what so these are what auto committable auto committable in the sense like what it will available for in the entire database see this thing it is available here okay now see what happened now i want to populate some data tell me same data i want to populate this same data okay now how can i populate by using what concept by using what concept i want to populate hmm, tell me what is the concept we should use insert okay so see so go back here so step by step we should follow okay see detail statement creating a table next one is a good by using dml inserting the records okay so if you understand this con concept entire task what happened we can able to understand like entire entire sql statement okay so first by using create i have created the table next by using insert statement i am trying to populate the record okay so before that i am trying to insert one state so see so see this thing okay i'll explain this thing okay i'll explain later point of the insert Now see the same thing. Now what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to insert some data. How can I insert some data? Insert into table name. Okay, so table name. Suppose like, okay, insert into table name, table name. Okay, table name. Okay. Now what they want, okay, they want what? They want, they want what? Okay, other number. Okay, see this two, other number, name, mobile number. Okay. So we want only these two records, okay, other number, the bracket open, other number, okay, suppose, now where you can we'll get, refresh these things, copy the same thing, tables, okay, so pay, place the cards are here, okay, so what we input, add columns in editor, okay, now what they want, they want, other number, copy the same thing, other number, next column is the word, they want name and address name comma address okay so it should be comfortable with ui okay so so you do the simple task so that it will be comfortable okay. in a similar fashion now tell me it will work i'm having three columns and one value tell me it will work anyone no, no. reason is no. so it will work okay so three columns will have okay three values it will say what it will say insert value list does not match column list expect in three we got one. Okay, so we should expect in three, but we got one. Okay, so this is not correct. Okay, we should put suppose I'm putting like this. Tell me to work. Huh? So three columns, it will get four. Okay, it won't work. Expect three, but got four. Okay, so getting the points are like this. Suppose, suppose I'm having Rabin. Suppose I'm having Rabin name here, and I'm putting so something like this. Okay, either of Tell me to work. Huh? Anyone? No. no. Okay, so see what happened. Okay, these are important. Okay, once you do once you do the data loading part, no, this is important. Okay, so tell me it work. Huh? It will work. Huh? It will not work. Yes, okay, so see this is what okay. Numeric value. So prior now we'll go for other number. We don't know what is data. Now go back here. Now try to describe table like this. You should debug. De debug. Okay, what the issue? Okay, so previous there what previous there in first column other number. Okay, go back here. Try to see now what happened. So this is what this is number data bucket okay, one accept numbers so now like this way you can able to now what they want one two three four one two three four one two three four so copy the same thing 
So like this, you should debug, okay, step by step, okay? So this is what, okay, same data, we're never giving any task now, same data, try to pop it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, name, Praveen, okay? If it's uppercase, you should go for uppercase, if it's lowercase, you should go for lowercase, Praveen, okay? And what happened, they want mobile number, okay? So, So mobile number they want what okay so same data okay so copy the same thing i'm gonna same data okay now see the same thing now try to execute what happened so see data has been number of rows inserted now when you see the data what happened the record will be there in this particular session tell me another session will be there in different session will be available in this session yes or no yes or no no why because we were given auto no, before, to no, no, the, forget about that one, okay, but forget about that, okay, before, like, okay, tell me, normal case, normal case, it will work or not, insert is a DDL or DML? DML, DML, DML. DML. So, uh, DML okay. commands will be available in different session, it will be available in different session, no, DMLs are, okay, so, DMLs will be available in different okay. sessions, yes or no, it will be available or it won't be available? Yes, available. Differentiation, differentiations. Oh, no, it won't happen. No, okay, sir. Okay, see, oh, it will be available. See what happened. I'm performing in the current session. In current session and the new session. Okay. So what happened? Current session, I'm having the data because I have populated insert statement here. But my question is that what it will be our differentiation? It won't be available because so DMLs are not auto committable. Okay, we should we should explicitly commit those transactions how can you commit those transaction by using what by using tcl transaction control language try to learn like this okay first get the data like this okay it's simple and easy now what happened how to do by using you should commit okay in the session you should commit no commit command so that what it will permanently save in the database so that it will be available in all the sessions got the point huh? it is available here got it huh? let me that is so no so like this you can able to Okay, got it. Huh? So like this way. Okay. Now see what happened. Now before that, what happened? I'm inserting other number, name, mobile number. Remaining columns, what will get populated? Anybody knows? Remaining three columns, what is the value will get populated by default? Okay. What's the value? Anybody? Null value. Null value. Okay. See, we'll see this one separate like one session. Sir. We'll see. So we are populating only other number, name, mobile. But you see what happened? We're having so many columns. Okay. So many columns. Okay. So, so remaining columns, null value get. Now we'll get popular. So take the same thing. Okay, second thing. Now go back here. Now what the thing? Okay, other number. Next one is that four ones, four twos, four threes. Okay, same data. Try to pop it. Then it's easy. And put one, four one, four two, four threes. Okay. Next one is that what we should go for what? Raj. Okay, next one. Okay. Kumar. Okay, only Kumar. Kumar. Now what happened? We want mobile number. We don't want mobile number. Okay. So you can put simply what? We can put simply null. Okay, null. Okay, see null. Okay, so see the same thing. It'll be null. Okay. Now see the data. What happened? Now same data. Now tell me we should now in the session to the it will be only one record because we did not commit those transactions. So we should commit those transactions so that data will be stored permanently in the database. Okay, now see it will be available in the different session. Okay. Try to learn this like this. It is simple and easy things. Okay, so what happened already? Now, in a similar fashion, what we should insert third record. Let's so, go back here. So, like this, you should learn. Okay, then only it will be simple and easy to get. So, copy the same thing. So, insert into next record is what? Okay, 334455. Okay, okay, so 334455. Okay, now what happened? 4455. Next one is that what? We should so Raj and Karapa. So what they're expecting, okay, address. In address column, they want put. The same upper case, if it is upper case, if it is lower case, we should put this in. So they want. Really, I have one question here. Now go ahead. Uh, so, so why we are using commit here? So we are not using TCL operations, right? Begin, tran, end, tran. In that case, we can come it right. No, no, actually, like, okay, like uh, we are uh, inserting the values in the table, 
so if, if you are not give the commit so it will it will i mean there there might be some auto auto generation will be there like every 30 seconds or 60 seconds so the commit i mean whatever uh, the records we are uh, inserting into table so it will automatically save into the table right i mean the database uh, no no it is not a, no no like it in every database there won't be any auto commit there okay so what is the point right uh, the checkpoint will run, I mean, it will automatically save into the table. We don't need to okay. run the commit. Even if you are using begin tran and end tran, in that case, like we are, uh, we'll use the commit. Uh, please help me if I'm wrong. Okay. Actually, if you see now, I'll show you one thing. Okay. So what happened? If you see now, show parameter. Okay. I'll show you. So this is for learning purpose only. Okay. Because now, Snowflake provided one parameter is, if you see, show parameters. What is it doing? You see? If you see auto commit, what is doing auto commit? This is the one of the parameter auto commit values to by default in the sense like what whatever the DMS perform, okay, it will get automatically committed. Okay, so for understanding purpose, this concept I am trying to disable this. That's what okay. So so Snowflake implemented one piece that is auto commit. Auto commit in the sense like what when you perform any DMS now, it will get automatically committed without any explicit commit. This is your question, I guess. Yes. So this is what a case. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, this but, is uh, automatically committing, right? Uh, whenever we are inserting values. Uh, okay. to but but like, 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 like no, for understanding purpose, because like so many people are coming from non-IT, you know, I want to show like what is key. Okay. So because so they don't know like yeah, okay, okay. that's what the point. Okay. It, yeah? like, yeah. okay. Sorry. No, no issues. Just I'm trying to like okay, because no, we should know X skill like. Complete SQL statements so that they can able to understand what is DDL, what is DML, what is this. So it will be easy to get the clear. That's what. Okay, go back here. Now what happened? One second. Now how many cards are there? So three, three, four, four, five, five. Raj Kadappa. Okay, sir. Kadappa. Next one is that word. So email. Okay, go back here. Email. Email. Okay, comma. Rajadred Gmail. Okay, see this thing what happened. Okay, now remember when you're getting invalid and fair. What is the thing? Tell me anybody what is invalid and fair? Anyone knows what exactly it means? Invalid and fair. Yes, no. This one will get regularly. Invalid and fair. What is the thing? No, see what happened. Okay, go back here. Okay, see the same thing. Now mail, what is the thing, okay, what mention we have mentioned, mail, what is the call name, it's a email, okay, so it's a, it's a email in instance, like what say, spelling mistake, okay, spelling mistake, or like column is not available, okay, we'll get regular this type of error, okay, so like some, by mistake, some code like spelling mistake, then what happened, Bro, invalid in you should follow like email, okay, so, 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 so. now go back here, now see the data, now what happened? You get the same records, the same data. Okay. Then in similar fashion, what we will go for other record. Okay, last one. So once we complete this concept, like we'll go for like filtering concepts sort. Like these are basic. That's why we're taking so much of like four classes. I'm taking. So once we complete, now we'll go for other other topics. So that will be fast enough. The next one is that what case triple six. Okay, six six seven seven. Six six six. Okay. What the thing? Okay, Ravi. This is okay. Now see the data, toss verify the same thing. Now everything same then, then what happened? Go back here. Now if everything same, then what happened? Okay, everything same. Now we need to commit so that data will be available in all the sessions in all the databases. You see the same data, so see same data is available. Now this is what okay. Now we are trying to copy data as is. Okay, this is our task. Okay. Now actual task what okay. So see now actually we have done this thing. Next is what they're expecting, they're expecting what? So they want to do the changes like change of Pravin. They want to put Pravin Kumar instead of MP. They want to put Kadapa Hyderabad like this. They want to, okay. Now tell me, okay. So one more time. Now I want to, I want to modify the existing records. Existing records are existing data. How can you modify by using which concept? By which concept? Tell me. Update. Date. Update. Update statement. Tell me, update is what? DDL or DML? DML. 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 Okay. So see what is the requirement? Okay. I want to populate new record. I want to populate 
new record how can i pop it by using what by using by using what concept by using insert okay now question is that what i want to modify the existing record see so this is already there but instead of pravin i want to modify to pravin kumar instead of null i want to modify to akada now this is what concept this is what this is by using update okay. statement i want to modify the existing record so record should be there if you record only you can able to modify this thing okay so it is used to it is used to modify existing record okay record should be there okay you can go syntax is that what any syntax is that what update table name table name set column 1 equals to val 1 okay val 1 okay so update table name set column 1 equal to val 1 take the same thing okay see understand sir this is important so already we will come into those things okay i'll copy the same thing for us So both having same data. Now what happened? They want to first task is that what task is that what they want to modify name and address. Now how can you modify? We should go for update statement. Update table name. Okay, so table name set. What we need to set? They want to modify what? They want to modify name column. Okay, so name. What is the name they want to put? They want to put Pravin Kumar. Okay, so they want to put Pravin Kumar. Okay, so same data they want to put Pravin Kumar. And if you want to get one more column, put the comma, comma. Next column, what they want? They want put address. So address. So slowly we should learn. Okay, so address. Okay, so address. Okay, follow the coding standards. Address. Okay. Now what they want in an address? They want kadapa. So all in upper case. Okay. So kadapa. Okay. Kadapa. Okay. Now see the, if I want one more column, we can put like column one like this. But you want only two columns. Now tell me if I try to execute, what will happen? Tell me if I try to execute, what will happen? Anyone? It update one record. Will update all records. It updates all records. Okay, all records. So see the same thing. Now see the data. What happened? See number of those updated. Now see what happened here. Getting all records. But in another session, it will be there. It will be the previous data. Okay, see previous data. Now tell me this is our requirement. This is our requirement. This is not. We want only for one record. But it is updating for all records. Now how can I rectify this thing? How can I rectify to previous state? Using what concept? How can I rectify this issue? Mm, tell me what we do. I don't want these changes. Then we should. Condition we have. No, no, that's fine. Okay, I want Where? to see. Okay, we should no, no. Before that, see, see, I want to get this data. Now I want to get previous data. How to get the previous data? Rollback. 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 We should go for rollback. So rollback, what it will do? It will go to the. Okay, I don't want these changes. Data changes, I don't want. I want to get is previous changes, previous computer data. We should go for what? We should go for rollback function. So rollback. So see this rollback. Now see the data. What happened? There won't be okay. So data okay, rollback is nothing but what? The uncommitted changes will get reverted back. Okay, it will go to the previous computed state. What is important? So commit. What it will do? Commit. It will store the data permanently, permanently in the database table. So what is the rollback will do? Rollback. What it will do? It will. It will revert the revert the changes. Okay, which are not committed. Okay, so once committed, we can't able to. Which are not committed only, we can able to roll back. So what point? This is important. So getting a little bit at least, this is clear. Okay, so now next point is that what? Okay, now what they want? They want only only one, two, three, four. But you see what happen when I go for here? So see the same thing. This is important. Okay, the same thing. Now when go to what happens here? It will. Projecting all the star is before that. What is star? Anybody knows what is star? Will do what is star? What is star? What is star? All columns. All columns. No name of the projection. Star. See projection. Projection operator. What it will do? What it will do? It is okay. It is projecting all the columns and. Okay, all the columns. Okay, now all the columns. See, star is nothing but what is projecting other number name. These are the columns. okay. Now we are not doing anything. Now what happens? We are doing project all the columns and all records. Okay, this is important. You can see the same thing. Now suppose I don't want all columns. I want only specific column. Then we should put required columns other number. So like this we can able to get. Okay, so I want only specific column. So go back here now. Try to put okay. So star is nothing but what it's projecting all the columns and Okay, we are not using filtering columns, but my requirement is that what I want to get 
I want to get only this record. How to get this record? We should go for what concept? Anyone knows how to get only particular record? We should go for filtering concept. Filtering concept. You'll see this one, okay, sir? Filtering mask. Take the same thing. I don't want all the records. I want only this record, okay, see? So, come, I mother, come. So, try to put. Okay, see, we want only this record. How to get only this record? We should go for what class? Anybody knows how to use the filtering concept? Start with. What is the class? What is the class? Where class? Where class? Where class? Where other number equals to? We should use the other number. We should give only specific record. Okay. So if I actually know what happened, it is projecting all the columns and all the records. But I don't want what I want. I want to update only specific record. Okay. How to get the specific record? We should go for filtering class. That is where class. You okay. see where other number equal to. What the point? Huh? Get better at this. So let's see. Okay, link explain. Come back. Okay. Now we don't want all the columns. We want only specific. Uh, then what happened? Go for. Okay. So instead, if you see what happened, if I try to update, what happened? Update for all the records. Now it's now see what happened. We don't want. Then what happened? See, it's not correct. Then we should go for roll back. Okay, roll back. Now what happened? We should go for. Okay, link explain. Come back. Okay, see, same thing. Now try to save thing. Now we should use what? We should use where class. Okay, copy this where class. And try to okay, so same thing. Okay, now try to exit. What happens? See, it will update for okay. See, number of rows updated, cross verify the same thing. Now, to see, cross verify. So, come back, link explaining. So, Pravin Kumar Kadapa. Now, tell me this is correct. Eh? So, this is correct. Then, what happened? You should commit those transactions so that data will be stored permanent in the data. Okay, see this thing, what happened? Okay, now, okay, this is first one is complete. Okay, so next step is that what I want to get this record. How to get this record? Tell me how to get this record. You should go for what concept? You should go for same filtering concept. Okay, so this is important. Okay, like step by step, we should know. Okay, so copy the same thing. Okay, so select statement. So take the same thing. Okay, try to do. Now, what if we don't want all the columns? We want only specific records. Okay, you see, I want to get only. I want to get only this record. Okay, copy the same thing. Try to use the filtering cons. You will get the data. Okay, now take the same thing and put here. Okay, now what they want? They want what? They want next record is that they want address, address, and email. Okay, so address. So address and email. Okay, so copy the same thing. Address. Okay, the address are there. Suppose I'm okay. Next column they want what? So they want address, address and uh, email. Okay. Address. Okay. So address they want Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay. Email. Okay. What is the email? Kumar. 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 Yahoo dot okay. So see they want what they want only specific record. So you're doing filtering concept. Try to do it. okay. So try to execute and try to cross over the same thing. If it is working, then we should commit those things. Okay, see same thing came as so the same thing. We should commit so that what data will be stored permanently. It will be available for all the sessions and all the data. Enter it you can do. So take the same thing. So we'll go for other use cases. Okay. Next step, what they want? They want what they want. So three three four four five five. Okay. So like this, okay. Task be like this, you should do. Okay, so copy the same thing. So put the same thing. So for, whenever updating or anything, now first we should we should select those things. Okay, so select those things. Select this record. What they want now? They want what they want. Okay, they want phone number. Okay, mobile number. They want okay. So mobile number. Okay, so only we should use mobile number. Okay, mobile number. So copy this mobile number. Okay. So we don't want all cause, don't it put comma. Okay, so comma. What they want, they want seven seven. Okay, try to execute. Okay, so before committing, you know, try to cross verify. Okay, whether it's getting updated correctly or not. Okay, see, it's getting updated correctly. Now, what happens? Should come this is what data will be stored permanently. Okay, this is fine. Clear so far. Like this way, you should do anything. Okay, so, so far, good. Okay. Now, what happened? Okay, so same thing. This is fine. Next step is that what okay they okay so far good. 
now last step is that what they want to remove they want to halt other deletion okay i want to delete this record tell me how can i remove this record what the concept video is how can I remove the specific record anyone in here based which concept delete state delete for delete state okay so delete is what dl or dml DML. So DML, okay, so delete, okay, so, so like this, delete is a DML, okay. So what the thing delete is nothing but what, okay, it is used to, what it is used to, remove the existing record, okay, existing record in the database table. The record should be there, then we can able to remove the thing, okay. Syntax is the word, delete from table, name, delete from table, what we want to, clear us so far, so delete from table, clear us, so same thing. Copy the same thing. Now go back here. Now what the table name? Okay, I don't. I forgot table. How can I find the table name? We should go for show tables. Okay. So show tables. Now what happened? Okay, take the same thing. Now select a star from this thing. Now what happened? So same thing. If you see what happened, data get updated. Okay. Data get updated. So update. Okay. Now I want to remove the record. How can I remove what I said? See, delete. So delete. Delete from table. Okay, so delete from table. Okay, so see, select this way. Now what happens? See when I remove the what happened? Four records removed. Tell me, we want four records. Huh? We want only one record. See, all records are removed. Now what happens? Should roll back so that we go to previous state. Okay, previous state. Okay. Now what happens? Select star from this thing. What happens? Get the previous data. Now what they want? They want only particular record. How to get the particular record? We should use which concept? We should go for which concept? We should go for filtering concept. Okay, so where? Other number equals to okay, like last record. Okay, so same thing, copy the same thing and try to put here. Okay. See what happened. We'll get only this specific record. Now, what they want, they want to remove this record, copy the same thing. So, use the where class. Okay, so like this. So. See what happened. Record will get remitted. Now, see what happened. There won't be any record. So, it's working fine. Then, you should use comment so the data will be stored permanently in the database table. What the pointer? Let me at least. Yes or no? Let's call it a. Yes, anyone clear so far? So see the yes. data. Now cross it for the same thing. Now see what happened. Okay. So data, same data. See, one, two, three, four. Okay, see, we should get the so three records. So Pravin Kumar. So same thing like the data we said. Okay, so everything will be like this. Only you should do the task. Okay. Step by step. Okay, first create the table. How can I create the table by using what? By using DDL statement. Next step is that what DDLs are. Remember, DDLs are auto. Committable, auto committable. Okay, next step is that what? Next step is using DML. We should insert the record. Okay, next step, these are what? These are not auto committable. Okay, so next one we should go for. I need to control, control this transactions. How can I control this transaction using transaction control that is commit? commit. Got the quantum. Next one, how can I see the data by using what? By using select, select, state. select state. that is data retrieval language. Got the quantum. Did you be getting the point, sir? So it's okay, like okay. So some pending topics now we'll see like later point of like okay, much statement, truncate will see the same thing. Okay, like okay, DDL, DCL, like okay, grand and regular, like okay. So focus on what creation, creation, insertion, updation, deletion, then commit and fetching the data as of now. Okay, so we'll go for like we'll see like much statement. So truncate this see later point, truncate and what okay. Then what we are having DCL grant and revoke. Okay, like see, once we'll go for snowflake, you'll we'll understand this concept. Okay, so far in dot as now. So like so you can have clear so far. So see, select star from table. Now what happened? Tell me, select star from is nothing but star is nothing but say projection operator. Projection operator. What it will do? What it will do? It will project all the columns in the database table. What we want to like this way again. Okay. So suppose if I don't put now what happened? You all the columns plus all rows, all rows, all the columns and all the rows got the pointer like this way. Can I clear so far? End of session. Anyone? Yes, and I know. Yes, or no? Anyone? Yes, no. No, we are good. Okay, can I show you? Now, what happened? Okay, I'll go to other database. Go to the worksheets. Okay, now what I'm trying to do. Okay. Suppose I want one data. Okay, I'll take this. Like this, you should do everything here, each and every task. Now we'll see the filtering concept. Okay, so this is important. Okay, 
So now what happened? I'm trying to go back here. So I'm switching the database. So see, we are getting three dots. Okay, click on this thing. Okay, so right now what we're in August 18 dev db 18 dev sigma. Okay, now click on this three dot menu. Okay, search for set for set worksheet context. It will see automatically get okay. Now we're in Prashan dev db dev schema. Suppose we're not able to follow. Click on this what happened, go to the it will go like this. Okay, now I want this thing. I have data from here. So click on this thing. Okay, see. Now I want to see that list of tables. How can you see? Let's go for show tables. Show tables, we can go on. Okay. So show tables. Now I want to have one table. Okay, so select it. So this is important. We'll see like filtering cons. We are seeing filtering cons. This is important. Okay, take okay. I'm taking the screenshot. So once you know, we'll go for the use cases. Okay. So understand this concept. Go back here. Okay. Now how many cards are there here? We are having seven cards. Are there, seven cards are there. Now take the same thing. Now try to put select star from employee. What will you? It will give all the columns and what the thing it is giving all columns and all records are rows rows okay suppose my requirement is that what i want to get only employed one tell me how to get only employed one we should go for what concept n one important i want to get only specific record how can i filter. get a specific record where should go for filtering concept okay filtering, filtering start with concept. where class where employee id equals to one to you only specific records okay suppose if you see what happens suppose i want to get department id 200 okay see I'll get to park. So it will give only 200 departments. Got the point. So see this. So I'll take the screenshot. So important. Okay. So what I want, I want to so see there are so many. See this thing, there are so many departments. Okay, go back here. When I try to exit what happened, we're having 100 department, 200 department, three. But what I want to get only 200 departments. See, where is nothing but what's a compulsory op option? Tell me in one. Where is compulsory optional in one? It's a compulsory condition, optional condition. Where is say? Compulsory condition. The condition is to start with. So, see, there are so many cards. Are there. When I go back here, you okay, see, there are so many cards. Okay, 100, 200. But what happened? So, only we want to specify only 200 departments. Then we should go for filtering concept, compulsory condition. Okay, now from this 200, I want to get only this, this two salaries. Okay, I want to get these two salaries. Tell me how to get these two salaries. Tell me what the concept we should use next time. Anybody, any idea? I want to pick this salary. Tell me. How can I pick the salary? Yes, anyone? You tell me how can I pick the salary? Okay. Five. Five. Max. Huh? Five. Max Spanish. Max, you why you go for max? You can give the salary column in select statement. Hmm. Select statement not okay. I want in the filtering concept. I want to get these two. Okay, so I want to get so I want to get these two records. Okay, okay I want to, okay. So I want to get this two. I want to fetch these two records. Not selecting. I want to fetch fetch. Descending order. Descending order. We can use Got department it? ID equal to two hundred. Okay, see. Okay, already I have given two department. Okay, okay, so my record is that. I want to get two two hundred as well as what I want to get. I want to get this salary. Okay, so see this salary. I want to get fifty seven thousand seven eight nine. Okay, I want to get these two records. You see, there are three records. Out of three records, I want to get only this condition satisfy. This condition satisfy. How can I, I can I do the condition satisfy? We should go for what? We should go for and condition and. Okay, this is a, this order and salary equals to fifty seven thousand seven eight nine. Getting the points, sir. So this is important, okay, see? So it is projecting all the columns, okay, all the columns and all the records, but I want only department ID 200. So you do only department. Now next condition is that what I want to get only department, okay, whose salary is 57,789. Then we should go for under columns. Getting the point a little bit at least. Yes or no, any, any can you see? So you understand this thing, okay, it is projecting all the columns and all records, but I don't want all the columns and all records. I want to get only specific records. Specific, you should go for where class. It will give only 200 departments. In 200, we are having what? We are having three records there. Out of three records, 
I want to get only this record either. So I want to get only this salary. Then what should go for salary 57,800. Say, and it's a compulsory condition. Okay, this is important. And it's nothing but say compulsory condition. Okay, we'll see the use case. We can able to get some idea. Compulsory condition. Okay. So these are important. Okay, we'll go for like this one. Like, okay, like once you get the project, we'll work on this filtering concept. Okay. So now go back here. So take the same thing. Okay. Now what are the things we are having? Okay, now suppose I want to get, so I want to get department ID 200 as well as 300. Okay, suppose I want to get department ID 200 and department ID 300. We should go for what concept? Anybody, any idea? I want to pick this department as well as this department. We should go for what? We should go for R condition. Okay, so department ID equal to 200 or department ID equals to 300. Okay, like this way, we can able to get. So see, department ID 200 as well as 300, we're getting the data. Okay, got the quantum. So from this department, I want to get only 50, only this. Okay, suppose I want to get only male, male gender. Then what happens, you should use what? We should use unconditional or conditional me. I want to get only male. Okay, I want to get only male. We should use what? We should use und condition. Und gender equals to gender equal to male. Getting the point, sir? Let's see. Okay. Let's see the same thing one more time. It is producing all the columns and all the records but i want to get only department 200 and 300 to be it will pick either 200 department matching or 300 department match next step is that what i want to get only gender male how to get only gender male should use and gender equal to male condition for the point of getting a little bit at least okay now suppose i want to get this employee to how to get employee to tell me how to get employee to we should use one more condition and the employee id equals to to, it will give only one record for the quantum. So see, it is nothing but what is projecting all the columns and all records. It is giving only 200 and 300. So it is obviously it is giving 200 and 300. Out of this, we are having male and female. We should put only, I want to get only male condition. We will get only gender male. And this, I want to get only employee two. Getting a little bit of this, yes or no? Yes, no, anyone? Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's see the same. Okay. So like this way, you can able to get, go back here. Now what happened? Okay. So select star from employee to give all the columns and all records. So where department two hundred department three hundred. Okay. So remember, where is compulsory condition? R is suppose. Okay. Now see the same thing. Two hundred. Now I'm putting three hundred. Tell me three thousand is there? Department three. It is there. Huh? It is giving. Now tell me it will give what records? Give only two hundred department. Okay. You see, R is nothing but what to pick this value or this value. When condition matching, it will give this record. When condition, you see, when condition matching is giving this record, it's not giving this record. Suppose, see, under condition, suppose, okay, same thing. Now, what happened? I'm getting M. Suppose, instead of M, I put F. Tell me it will work. Huh? Give you any records, sir. Huh? Any records will give. No, it will not give. It will not give because, so it's a compulsory. You see, there is no records. Okay, and is nothing but what? So, where is nothing but it's a compulsory condition, and it's nothing but it's compulsory. R is nothing but what? If it is matching, it will give this record. If it is matching, it will give. Either one compulsory. condition or this. Okay, either condition. If this condition has to be records, this can be. But and is a compulsory condition. What the point? Of? We'll see this one. Okay, don't worry. We'll see this. Okay, getting the point a little bit. So like this way, you can able to get that. Okay, so suppose select star from employee. Now what happens? Suppose see the same thing. Now I want to get employee ID. Employee. Suppose I want to get employee ID three. Employee one, employee six. Okay, tell me, can anybody tell me? I want to get employee three. I want to pick employee one. I want to pick employee six. In operator, we should go for in or R. Okay, see same thing. So see, it is it is giving all the columns and all records. But I don't want all the columns and all records. I want only specific condition. We should go for where class where employee ID equals to three. Okay, or employee id equals to one or employee id equals to six see what happens giving either three one or six but the one time it will give three one or six okay getting the points a little bit like this okay now suppose instead of writing this now we are having one more that is what is the concept we should go for in concept okay so we can write instead of equal to now we will go for in three comma okay one comma Six okay, it will give either see same, it will give either three or one 
R6. In a similar fashion, in also, it's a multiple R condition. It will pick either three value or one value R6. Okay, so you see what happened. In is nothing but say multiple, multiple R condition. R condition. Okay, got the point. It will pick either this value. Okay, see. Suppose I'm putting 60. It will be what? It will, be, it will pick either 6, 3 value, R1 value, R60 value. See, it's giving only 15. In a similar fashion, putting 10. It will see, it is giving only third. third. Okay. So it's, it's, it, it, it means nothing but what say multiple R condition. Either this value, or this value, or this value. Okay. So R is nothing but an optional condition. Either this value condition matching, either this condition matching, this kind. Okay. So same as in same as in is a multiple R condition. Okay. If it is matching you, this regard, it is matching you like this. Okay. So same as like this. Clear so far? Suppose, okay, so same thing. Okay, go back here. So try to execute. Now we're getting what we're getting like this here. Okay. Okay, now see this thing. Okay, we're having 50,000, 40,000, 50, like this. Thing. Okay. I want to do some sorting. How can I do sorting? We should go for order by class, order by salary. As descending, okay, see the same thing. Okay, see the same thing. What happened? See, descending is nothing but what anybody tell me what is descending? You see, bigger value to smaller 85,000, 75,000, 57,000, 50,000. See, what's it? This is what's the concept? Say, sorting concept, sorting concept. Okay, see, okay, a bigger value to smaller. Suppose I want to put lower value, she put ascending sad. Okay, see, smaller value to bigger value. Okay, this is what descending sad, and this is ascending sad. Ascending side is nothing but what smaller value to bigger value like this way again. Clear so far? Now my understand the requirement. Now my requirement is that what? Okay, so see this is important. Now my requirement is that what? Okay, I want to get. So I want to pick the list of employees whose salary is between okay, so 55,000 to 75,000. Okay, so my question is that what? Okay, I want to important. I want to pick list of values. Okay. Whose salaries, whose salaries are in the range of, in the range of, okay, in the range of what? So, 55,000 to 75,000. 55K to 75K. Okay, so 55,000 to 75. Okay. Now, tell me, can I write like this? Huh? So, where salary, so important, okay, where, where, where salary salary in 55,000 okay, okay, 55, 000, 55, 000, 1 second 55,000 55,001 come 55,002 tell me is it work I can I write like this up to 75,000 can I write like this it is not possible okay so we are having what okay for the range of values okay so see range of values we should go for what concept anybody range of values go for between concept Okay. So we'll see like okay, Monday also we'll see that like we're getting kind of okay. See, range of values go for what concept? We should go for between concept. Okay, say so take the same thing. Now try to exclude. Okay, so select star from employee where salary between between what fifty five thousand and seventy five thousand. Now tell me from this use case. Tell me how many cards will come? One record or two records or three records or four records? How many cards will come? Okay, 55,000 to 75,000. Anybody? Four. Four. What are those records? Which employee is? Three, five, six, four. Okay. So, three. Okay, three, five, six, four. Now, see what happened. Okay, now tell me. 55,000 and 75,000 both are English or exclusive. So, see. 55,000, 75,000. When I try to exit, now what happened? It's giving. Okay, see. 55,000. 75,000. Okay, see, both are inclusive. Okay, so both are inclusive. In inclusive, in the sense, like what? Okay, we are getting this 50,000 value and 75,000 value. Okay, both are inclusive. Okay, got the point. So, just take the same thing. Now, I'll try to ask one more question. Okay, okay so one more question. Now, tell me. Okay, now I'm putting 55,000. Okay, now tell me it will give records or it won't give. I'm putting 55,000 and 55,000. Tell me, it will give records or it won't give records. Tell me. It will give records or it won't give? Okay, how many cards will give? It won't give away. It won't give away. It won't give away. 
because the uh, under operator it should be condition must be condition one and condition two it must be true okay now tell me why we are getting 55000 and 75000 then okay. so what i said both are inclusive inclusive in the sense like what inclusive in the sense like what okay we can pick this value and this value so see we are getting 55000 as well as 75000 now in a similar fashion what okay this is what they said both are inclusive now tell me 55000 we are getting cards if you one regard okay so this is important point okay so so between is nothing but what say okay so you see lower limit and upper limit both are inclusive inclusive in the sense like what we'll need to consider those values okay see we are considering this value or not see so we are considering 55,000 and 75,000 same use case see you are getting 55,000 and between this is the range okay in a similar fashion what i putting 55,000 and 50 see in the sense like what you you same regard got the point this is important okay so getting the points huh? so point is that what these limits should be okay what it should is both are inclusive inclusive okay getting the points huh? so this is okay in a similar fashion go back here now try to put the same thing okay now tell me i am putting here zero zero one Tell me to give record or you want to give records anybody what is i want the reason tell me to you or you want you tell me to you or it won't give it won't give it won't give why tell me why it will give it won't give yes yes come again one more time okay see what happened okay see this is what okay see it won't give any records reason is that what okay see reason is that what this is what this is lower boundary or limit should be always should be either equal to or lesser value okay one more time so this is important okay so lower limit should be or lower boundary should be either equal to upper limit or it should be less than upper limit okay it should not be it should not be greater than okay it won't give any records no records because what the point is that what okay lower limit should be always either equal to or it should be less than this value okay less than the upper limit but what you put here you see this is what this is greater than this value that's why it's giving no records for the point huh? so see this is the point is that what important so these are inclusive this lower limit upper limit both are inclusive if it is matching to you this record this this is why not give because this is bigger value so bigger value won't give that's clear so far yes and i got the point huh? like this way okay so like this way you can have one so remember a range of values okay a range of values we should go for what we should go for between concept between concept okay so specific values like one okay specific values like okay one six eight like this we should go for what we should go for what we should go for either in or or concept okay so compulsory condition is go for what compulsory condition to go for either and first we'll go for where and next we'll go for under condition okay so got the point huh? yes and no? like this okay so in a similar fashion select start from employee okay now what i want okay suppose so see the same thing i'm putting order by salary okay salary okay so this is what when i don't mention say by default will be ascending sad okay it will be ascending sad eac ascending sad okay now requirements that what okay okay so requirements that what i'll take the screenshot one more time so when i'll take the screenshot it's simple and easy okay so take the screenshot okay now my requirement is that what i i know starting range okay i know okay my requirement is that i want to start from 55000 to i don't know ending value i know starting limit i don't know ending limit then i want to pick all these records okay starting from 55000 ending it can be anything we should go for what concept anyone we should go for what we should go for comparison of that is greater than symbol okay see okay so i know starting limit okay starting is what okay we should go for what we should go for where where salary greater than or equals to 55000 see this thing we'll get what we'll get 55000 to this thing. okay starting from 55000 i don't know ending record then we'll go like this okay suppose i know suppose like i know ending limit suppose i know ending limit 57000 starting okay this ending value well, i don't know lower then we should go for what we should go for less than similar okay. so we'll see this one use case okay so less than 57,000 something like 57,789 okay okay so tell you 
Okay, do you remain legacy? 50, okay, so wait in the points, at least so like when you know starting value, we know like this. When you know ending value, okay. Suppose when you know, suppose I want I I know starting limit and ending limit. Okay, so 50,000 and 75,000. Then we should go for what concept? Anyone? I know starting limit and I know ending limit. Then mm, tell me anyone. We should go for what? Between. So between, okay, so between, okay, only between, huh? so salary, so suppose, so it will give all the records, but I don't want all the records, I want what, I want where, salary, between, okay, okay what is expecting, 55,000, okay, 55,000, and 75, and what, and 75,000, okay, now tell me both are English or exclusive, both are English, now I want to do sorting, how can do sorting, we should go for what, order by, Okay, see, this is what 55,000, so like it's sitting. Okay, I want to put odd by salary by default, say ascending salary. Okay, got the point. Huh? Now, suppose like I know starting limit, I know any, what I said. We should go for what? Anybody in here? We can put eight salary get an equal to 50,000. Tell me, give you all the records starting from 55,000. I want to put and salary less than or equals to. 75. Got the point. When you know starting limit and limit, we go for either okay, greater than symbol or less than symbol. I'll go for okay. So okay, we should go for either okay, starting limit. When you know starting limit, and we will go for okay, either greater than equal to less than equal to, or we we'll go for go between concept. Okay, this is clear. So we'll see some use case. We'll go for close. Okay. So this is important. Okay, filtering concept. We are very important. Okay. I'm putting. I'm taking flip card application. Okay, so see the same thing. Now assume like this is one table. Okay, this is what assume like this is one table is giving. Mobile data, gross data, fashion. Okay, so this is what word say select star from assume like flip card is my table. Okay, so it is giving what is giving it is giving all columns and all records. Okay, see all columns and all records. Okay, suppose tell me I want to purchase a phone. When you want to purchase a phone, tell me do you want fashion, home, appliance, travel? Huh? Tell me I want to purchase a phone. So we don't want all the all the records. We should go for what concept? I want to get only. Only what I want to get only what phone we should go for what concept we should go for what concept we should go for filtering concept that is where class where category equals to phone okay mobiles mobiles are in there okay see now see what happened they having assume like it's having two like records or two like records tell me is it called the filter two like records huh? it is not called okay so I want only four okay so phone okay then we we'll go for what what right here I will be four. See what records? So see the cards are reducing. Okay. From two lakhs, it is reducing to eight thousand records. Okay, eight thousand cards. Eight eight cards. Eight cards. Eight cards. Now suppose now from eight thousand, suppose my budget, suppose I'm having budget of suppose like twenty thousand okay to thirty thousand. Okay. When you have the budget of twenty thousand to thirty thousand, can I go for this much value? Tell me one lakh eight four thousand. No? Yes, can I go here? Tell me, can I go one like eight for the no. no? Okay, no, it's not my budget. Okay, in a similar fashion, suppose my like my budget is what 20 to 30. Tell me, can I go for lower range? Six to six to six to we don't okay. Then what happened? We should go for what concept? We should go for okay, price 20,000 and 30,000. See, from 8,000 reducing to 1,000. Tell me, it's a compulsory condition or optional condition. Records are reducing is compulsory option. Anyone say. Compulsory condition. Remember, when records are reducing from eight thousand to one thousand, it's nothing but say compulsory condition. Okay, and now tell me for range of value should go for what? Just now discuss starting value, no ending value. No. We should go for what concept? Be between. Ah, uh, between concept. Okay, and price between price greater twenty twenty thousand. Okay, can go for greater. I can go for less than okay. twenty thousand and thirty thousand. How many cards came? It's getting thousand records. Okay, thousand. Okay, one K records came. Okay, suppose. Out of this, see, suppose, okay, see, there are so many brands, okay, so many brands. Suppose I'm using Samsung brand only, okay, when I go for Samsung brand, do you, have, do you require all this? No, we don't want, okay, see, see, this is important. Okay, how many cards came right now? It's 1,000 records. I want to put Samsung, see, from 1,000 reducing to 163. Tell me it's a compulsory condition, option condition, it's a compulsory condition. Oh, and okay. brand equals to Samsung. I want to get only Samsung brand. Okay, got to go under. Now, how many cards? 163 records, okay. Now suppose I want to put Samsung brand as well as suppose I want to put Samsung and Realme brand. Okay, so I now see remember how many cards are there here? 163 cards are there. Now when I click on a Realme, so see 
163 got 272. Now tell me, it's a compulsory condition, optional condition in the particular plan. See, are we having? How many cards are we having? Are we having? Okay, see, we're having 163. Now what I want, I want put Realme brand also. Then what happened? From 162 to it is increasing to 7. So it's nothing but say optional condition. Okay, see, in the brand, we can able to put Samsung. Okay, tell me how can I get optional condition? You go for R condition. Okay, R brand equals to Realme. Got the pointer? So let me do one more time. So brand equals to real like this you should understand okay, so real. okay. now how many cards it is taking you seeing it is in two cents in a similar fashion suppose i want to pick poco brand also okay it is increasing in the sense i got this an optional condition okay so it will pick either samsung or you pick either realme or pick either poco brand got the point like this okay now how many cards came how many cards came here so 311 cards came okay, 311 okay. so remember if it is a compulsory condition, the cards will get reduced. If it's an optional condition, what the cards will get increased. Okay. So compulsory condition will go for unconditional, option will go for R condition. Now instead of writing list, can I go for what? Instead of writing RR, we should go for what concept? Anybody? How can you simplify this use case? Based on what concept? How can we return what? We should go for we should go for in concept. In so brand in. So brand in Samsung. Okay. So Samsung, comma, Realme. Okay, comma. Poco brand. Okay, so okay, so okay. okay. We'll see this one on Monday. Okay, like a little bit confusing. Say four. So how many cards came? Three eleven cards came. Suppose the okay, same thing. Now tell me this concept. Okay. Okay, I want to get forty percent or more discount. Forty percent or more. Now tell me. I know starting limit or ending limit. Forty percent or more. Hmm, tell me forty percent or more. So I know starting limit. We'll put what? Okay, so greater than okay, so go back here. We should put what so and and okay, and discount discount greater than or equals to 40 percent. What 40 percent? Okay, now see 40 percent. Now, how many cards came? 10 cards. Okay, so one more time, see 27,000, 26,000, 27. See bigger value, smaller Then what happened? At last, we'll go for starting chance. Okay, lower value to higher. See for higher. This is nothing but what to say. What concept this is sorting. Okay, so how sorting how can do by using order, order, by, by. order by price ascending or descending. Okay, we'll see one more use case. We'll go for okay, like time is okay. We'll go for Mintra application. Okay. Same thing, like we've taken thing now. So this is what this is. Select star from what select star from uh, what this is. This is select star from Mintra. We'll see this one. Don't worry, get over like Monday. We'll select star from Mintra. Assume like this is Mintra table, it's having five like cards. Now I want to purchase shirt. Then what happened? We should go for which concept we should go for. Filtering answer. See, shut. How many cards came? One lakh twenty two thousand. You see, where, where category equals to shut. See, shut. Okay. Now, what happened? How many cards came? One lakh. Now, suppose if I want to purchase for me, do you require women, men? Also, do you don't want? Do you want only men category? See, from one lakh, it's reducing to below one lakh. You should go for und condition and gender equals to male. Okay, so male. Okay. So now, what happened? A male, men, it's a man. Now, how many cards came? It's reducing to below one lakh. Okay. Now, suppose I'm using only specific brand. Suppose I'm using Van Houston. Then what happened? From one lakh, it's reducing to two. It's a what say? Compulsory condition and brand equals to Van Houston. Okay, like this. Okay, Van Houston. Okay. Okay. Suppose I want Van Houston as well as Alan Sorry. Then what happened? Tell me. It's getting reduced. In the sense, like I will go for either equal, either in, or we'll go for R concept. Okay. So Van Houston, something like okay, Louis with some. Okay, so I said, okay, got the point. Now, suppose I want what? So, see how many cards are there right now? Right now, 4,000 cards are there. Suppose I want, so this range. So, range of which go for what concept? Range of which tell me, we should go for what? We should go for between and price between concept. So, okay, suppose, okay, how many cards came? 1,000 cards came. In a similar fashion, I want pick white color. See, from 1,000 cards reducing to 205. So, compulsory optional condition tell me, it's a compulsory condition and color equals to white okay white. what the point of so like this way you should divide okay now what happened so see this is bigger value smaller value bigger. now what happened we'll go for our class we'll go for what we should go for starting concept okay high to low or low to high this is what last is it order by order by price ascending or descending what the point of yes so clear so far anyone in the house now